David Hay gives props to Deontay Wilder ahead of Wilder Fury. Says Wilder is dangerous. He's a sharpshooter. Stay tuned. Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chat channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Now, Tyson Fury. There's only one Tyson Fury versus Mr. Bomb Squad himself, Deontay Wilder, was officially announced. More information to come as far as the actual official date, location, venue, when you can expect press conferences, all access, you know, that type of stuff. But the fight was announced. Both fighters were in the ring after Tyson Fury's last victory. Congrats again to Fury. David Hay was part of that telecast with BT Sports. UK cruiserweight champ, moved up to heavyweight, fought a Klitschko, fought Tony Bellew recently. And you know, respected in the game for what he's done. He did an interview with Fight Hype, link is in the description, and he was explaining how Deontay Wilder is scary, good, and dangerous, and he's talking from a first-hand perspective because years ago, he sparred with Deontay Wilder, he, and he says in this interview, you guys can listen to the interview in the description and check it out verbatim, but what David Hay basically said, I'm gonna paraphrase, is I've sparred many rounds with Deontay Wilder, He's very dangerous, and I don't think people grasp how dangerous he is and how accurate he is. He called him, and I quote, a sharpshooter. He says he's a sharpshooter, he's dangerous, you know, power on both hands kind of thing. And he says the whole time I'm sparring him, I had to be switched on, meaning I had to be on my shit. I had to be on my P's and Q's because he has the type of power that's damaging and you have to be alert when you're sparring a guy. He says, sometimes you're sparring other guys and you have the, the big gloves and the headgear on. So you, you're operating 60, 80% or whatnot. He said, well, Wilder, you gotta, be, you gotta be alert and you gotta be almost, it's like going, the way he made it sound in his facial expression, then you'll see it in the thumbnail and his eyes and stuff. I really believe he means this because he was he was very expressive with with the expressions he was making. He was like, I had to be switched on. The way he made it sound, he made it sound like when you go to the hood, you got to have your head on a swivel. You know what I mean? Observe your surroundings. You have to be cautious of things. People creeping up behind you or someone walking up to your vehicle. You got to be cautious. That's what he made it sound like sparring with Wilder. Like you have to be switched on, alert, head on a swivel. You know what I mean? You can't have like down day so to speak like where you're just like ah oh, groggy and you know what i mean you stayed out partying late night you have to be on it you know he's a sharpshooter and the initial question this all stems from a question of a lot of people the, the the interviewer said a lot of people think that wilder will ice tyson fury within three rounds and he says i can see how people would say that you know because i've sparred with the guy and then that's when he goes into this whole spiel about wilder being a, a dangerous accurate sharpshooter right and he says, if I had to base it, he's like, Fury can box, but if I had to base it on current form, I would have to lean with Wilder, and I can understand why people would pick him, basically. And he didn't try, he was supposed to fight, a lot of you guys don't know this, but he was actually scheduled to fight Tyson Fury, they had a press conference and everything, and then he got injured and then ended up retiring for three years or so. But he didn't, the way he did the interview, he didn't really sound like he had a vendetta or like like he was it just sounded like he was being honest from a personal experience it didn't sound like he was saying it because he dreads fury because you just listen to how he was talking he wasn't like bad mouth on fury he was just going off of his experience of what he's seen you know and i respect david hay as a fighter and i respect him for you know what i mean his uncut thoughts and 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 being unbiased now fast forward new media ego's army is destroying that's why what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing. I'm destroying them. Once again, I'm not going to let these casuals let up. And like, you know, I, I hear what they say and we're going to keep talking about it and keep talking about it till they no longer exist or they're afraid to come out. 
you know, because I'm sick of all the bullshit leading up to the Joshua Wilder fallout, all the excuses and all that. And what I heard from these man fans is, oh, yeah, how can Wilder beat? How could he beat AJ? David Hay was rocking him and, and sparring and hurting him, because if you guys don't know, there's a video of some of the sparring from David Hay. Um, in Deontay Wilder and there was a scene where it looked like Deontay Wilder buckled a little bit but it was an edit it was like a highlight reel edit so anyone can if you spar he just said I spar many rounds and this is like let's say a minute long video and it's not all just of of Wilder sparring so of course you're gonna the editor or whatever if they're doing a promo for you they're gonna pick out your best moments that doesn't mean that's how the whole sparring went right so once again how is it that the casuals say all these things like, oh, yeah, ha ha, David Hay beat your ass in sparring. But David Hay is giving him props. David Hay is not like, oh, I just went in there. and He was easy work and I was fucking him up. He's telling you, man, you got to be alert. This guy can crack. He, he's a serious threat. He's an accurate puncher. You know, his speed is good. Like, why is he not talking like the casuals are talking? And he's the one that sparred him. But some of the people are throwing... A highlight reel of sparring in in Wilder's face, and and you know what the other thing is, Wilder sparred him. I don't even think he was a champion, to be honest. I think this was before the first Bermain Stavern fight. So if Hay feels and has a respect for Wilder's fight game after being in the sparring rounds with him, imagine what it would be now because he's clearly improved. You know, he was probably a, you think he's wild now. He's probably more wild now. But after you become a champion, you gain confidence. You you might do stuff you know you could do, but you just proved it. So, that you know, it's just like going to the gym. If you lose 30 pounds and you're starting to look diesel and stuff, as a man, you start to get more confident. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? You start hitting new milestones at the gym where you're lifting different weights that you couldn't lift before. You're like, yeah. So that's what happens as a champion. As you... You, you conquer new goals or new title defenses and go on, you start gaining more and more confidence. So imagine where Wilder is at right now. You know what I mean? If David Hay had this first impression of him from sparring in 2013 or whenever it was, you know what I mean? So once again, these casuals, these man fans, they need help for 40 cents a day. Maybe you guys can help them because David Hay is giving props. He's saying it's a good fight. I spar Wilder. You got to be cautious. Now, that's not to say Tyson Fury doesn't have a shot. Tyson Fury is not David Hay. He's a bigger frame guy. He boxes differently. So we'll see. So the sparring, ultimately, grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. You know, it's just preparation. But my case in point is you got to do something, baby, because all the, the man fans were saying that David Hay was destroying Wilder and he has no chance against AJ and stuff like that and Hayes not even saying that he's, he's like man the dude could fight I see why people are picking him another thing you have to look at it from the angle of David Hay being a Brit you know he's from the UK so why is he giving props to the American which is something some of these UK channels aren't doing you know what I mean they're making it sound like Wilder had no shot against AJ you know he has no shot against whoever right he can't fight but then david hayes telling you and he's from great britain he's from the uk and he's telling you he can't fight he is dangerous it's looking bad for y'all let me know what you guys think link in the description david hay he says wilder's a sharpshooter which is true he's i mean his arm length his frame and his athleticism he also does things that are underrated i mean david hay even says it he says it in this interview he says i don't think people grasp that means basically they're you're underrated to a degree you know what i mean and i told people the same thing wilder has an underrated jab see the thing is sometimes wilder being there playing around because he's freakishly athletic and maybe if he doesn't feel enough of a threat he'll he'll do some things you know what i mean but he's he's crazy athletic i remember when he fought chris Ariola. not that Ariola at that point was um a world beater but just little things i noticed he started like doing this like salsa dance in the middle and then he just hit Ariola with a nasty ass uppercut out of nowhere you know what i mean that shows a level of confidence that you would even try to dance like dance dance two step ha 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 and then rip an uppercut like for especially for someone who's six seven you know what i mean so wilder fury has taken the world by storm it's a very good fight two big men two 
what we would classify as super heavy, super heavyweights. And a lot of people have different opinions on how it'll play out. I can't wait to see it. I definitely support the fight, but it's just looking bad for the man fans. They said all this and that, and this guy sucks, and Wilder, he, he's wild, and he, he, he doesn't possess a threat. His bum resume. Why isn't David Hay saying any of that? He's saying, man, this dude's a sharpshooter. He's dangerous and accurate. Accurate. But let the let the fans say it. He's not accurate. He's he's wild and sloppy. Crazy. It's looking real bad for y'all. Y'all got to catch up. Smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego Sun. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego the future of boxing.